right guys, um, so I've been talking about some new procedures that are coming down the line or that we've been doing or, the, or that are becoming more popular. We've kind of perfected a lot of these and, and now it's becoming more mainstream. So I'm gonna talk to you about one that you might really be interested in hearing about because it has to do with sex. What is it? Well, there's something called the Barbie makeover. What's the Barbie makeover? Well. There's different things that you can do to the vaginal area to either rejuvenate it or make it like it's brand new again. So the different things that you can do is number one, you people tend to have this little excess skin and the labia minora kind of looks like the little, you know what I'm talking about. And it's got this little bit of excess skin and I can trim it. That's a labial plasty trimming. That's number one. Now all I've done is made it pretty from the outside, haven't done anything functionally. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Now I'm gonna go into the canal, and now what I can do is that I can take fat and inject it into the clitoris and the G-spot. Oh gee, that's right. Now when I put it into the G-spot, what that does is that it makes it more prominent so when you're having sexual intercourse, you get a tremendous amount of stimulation from it. As a matter of fact, some people say when they go over bumps in a car, woo That's something that you can do to the G-spot. Now. Let's stay in the canal. Now what I can do, so I've trimmed your labia, I've added fat to the G-spot in the clitoris, yay. And now I can go in there and I can tighten the vagina if it's gotten loose. This typically happens in women that have had kids already or um, have a grande boyfriend. But typically it's with women that have had children and the vaginal walls become loose. So we can go in there and we can tighten the vagina to make it almost brand new. So that's the third part. Now, the next part is what uh, we work on the labia majora. That's the thicker lips that are on the side. And as we age, we start to lose fat from there. So I can rejuvenate it by adding fat. Some people think it's too fat. So then I can try to contour it by removing fat on the outer part, reshaping it. Some people think it's too big, so I can trim that down. So there's a whole procedure, techniques going on down there that now we can work and we put it all together and we call it the Barbie procedure.